faster than the surface of room time can remain mindful of it, and it'll essentially tear. I'm startled by this. At this point, our night sky is evolving rapidly, possibly with the end result of being unrecognizable in just years, or even months. Cosmologists generally are sounding the caution. Famous experts like Neil deGrasse Tyson have as of late affirmed upsetting news. Polaris, the North Star, is close to the actual edge of exploding, denoting a frantic turn of events. For quite a while, Polaris has been a consistent presence, directing stargazers, pilots, and cosmologists the same. However, this dependability may before long dissipate, adjusting our point of view on the night sky and impacting cosmic estimations for eternity. Go along with us as we reveal the gravity of this risk and its suggestions for us all. We should jump into the story of Polaris as it pushes toward its end. Polaris has long filled in as a directing light, loved by cosmologists and pilots over the course of time. Its courageous situation in the night sky has been critical for route utilizing the stars. In any case, late examination from the regarded imperial cosmic culture introduced in September 2023 feels very vigilant on the predetermination of this heavenly aid. Polaris falters on the edge of impact, taking steps to vanish from the sky until the end of time. Before we talk about the implications of this disclosure, we ought to look at Polaris itself, also called the North Star or Pole Star. Polaris holds a special spot above because of its vicinity to the heavenly North Pole, arranged straight over Earth's North Pole. It shows up practically still in the northern sky, dwelling in the star grouping Ursa Minor. Polaris sparkles as a sensibly brilliant yellow-white supergiant star a lot bigger and more splendid than our sun, yet essentially farther away. Albeit frequently seen as a solitary star, Polaris is very of a complicated triple star framework. Its key parts, Polaris N and Polaris B, show up as a solitary element to the unaided eye, with a third friend, Polaris B, circling the twofold pair. The gravitational collaboration among these stars shapes their circles and influences their ways of behaving, affecting their glow and qualities. Any aggravations to these components could prompt unpredictable varieties in Polaris splendor or throb designs. Notwithstanding how we might interpret Polaris intricacy, much remaining parts dark about the complexities of its collaborations. What we can't deny is that light from Polaris, found about 323 light years away, sets aside some margin to arrive at Earth. This implies that the light we presently see from Polaris started its excursion quite some time in the past. Accordingly, if Polaris somehow happened to explode today, we wouldn't notice the occasion until more than three centuries after the fact. The meaning of Polaris rises above logical comprehension, resounding profoundly across societies and developments. Its faithfulness close to the divine North Pole has invested it with social, navigational, and emblematic significance over the entire course of time. Polaris has filled in as a directing light for old mariners and voyagers, supporting route across tremendous seas and terrains. Its delegate importance traverses different social orders, representing solidness, course, and security in the midst of the divine dance of the night sky. In the domain of cosmology, Polaris' proper position has been significant, giving a consistent reference highlight divine perceptions. However, with its approaching destiny unsure, the deficiency of Polaris wouldn't just modify how we might interpret the night sky yet in addition lessen a social and navigational establishment that has directed humankind for centuries. Polaris has filled in as a vital benchmark for noticing heavenly bodies, supporting the investigation of the night sky's developments and examples. As a Cepheid variable star, Polaris shows occasional varieties in splendor, working with critical disclosures about heavenly properties and the idea of variable stars. This trademark has likewise assumed a key part in deciding galactic distances and adjusting instruments. Nonetheless, late perceptions have revealed a deviation from Polaris' commonplace way of behaving. Rather than keeping its guideline, unsurprising throb design, Polaris has started showing sporadic examples of diminishing and lighting up. This irregularity has confounded stargazers, inciting nearer assessment of this heavenly peculiarity. The extending of Polaris throb period, for the most part stable in its cyclic darkening and lighting up, 
can be credited to cooperations inside its STAR framework. Perceptions show a yearly expansion in throb term by four to five seconds, a huge peculiarity. While certain cosmologists trait these variances to gravitational cooperations among the Polaris stars influencing its air conditions, others hypothesize that the star may be approaching its end. Investigations of Betelgeuse, one more puzzling star showing irregularities in brilliance, have uplifted worries about Polaris' future. Betelgeuse's way of behaving has prompted theory about a likely impending blast, drawing matches with Polaris oddities. Red supergiants in their late stages frequently show such peculiarities prior to arriving at the zenith of their life cycles. Polaris noticed. Inconsistencies line up with ways of behaving characteristic of stars moving toward the finish of their divine processes. Be that as it may, authoritative indications of Polaris approaching the last period of its life cycle stay dubious. If Polaris somehow happened to go cosmic explosion, it would probably bring about a fabulous occasion in our sky, possibly eclipsing the moon and becoming one of the most splendid articles noticeable for days, weeks, or even months. The star's appearance would go through emotional changes, denoting a critical occasion in cosmic history. If Polaris somehow managed to go through a horrendous occasion, for example, a cosmic explosion blast, it could change into a splendid place of light or a transient item, maybe showing dynamic and vivid tints before continuously disappearing. Such an occasion would probably be apparent to the unaided eye for a lengthy period, conceivably overshadowing close by stars in the night sky. The visual scene could briefly modify our view of natural divine bodies like the enormous scoop or Ursa Major, as Polaris is the ongoing North Star and a fundamental part of these heavenly developments. In any case, in spite of the sensational showcase, Earth would almost certainly stay protected from any immediate effect, given Polaris' extensive separation from our planet. Any consequences for Earth's air or ecological circumstances would likely be insignificant. While the occasion would without a doubt catch the consideration of cosmologists and observatories around the world, the particular perceivability and effect on Earth would be less critical contrasted with a closer cosmic explosion occasion. With respect to post-devastating destiny of Polaris, it's critical to take note of that Polaris predetermination will probably not include a cosmic explosion blast. While huge stars normally end their lives in a cosmic explosion, Polaris isn't gigantic enough for this situation. All things considered, when Polaris debilitates its atomic fuel, it will shed its external layers and change into a white midget, a calm finish to its heavenly excursion. A white diminutive person is a little, exceptionally thick heavenly remainder shaped from the center of a star after it has drained its atomic fuel and gone through gravitational breakdown. These leftovers are made fundamentally out of electron degenerate matter, with a mass identical to that of the sun however packed into a lot more modest volume. In spite of their high thickness, white midgets radiate next to no light and progressively cool more than billions of years, in the end becoming weak articles, known as dark diminutive people. Polaris change into a white bantam means the finish of its dynamic stage as a star. While it might never again sparkle splendidly in the night sky, its presence as a white bantam fills in as a demonstration of the tremendous and dynamic nature of the universe, where stars go through glorious changes all through their lifetimes. A white midget is the leftover of a low or medium mass star that has depleted its atomic. Inconsistencies line up with ways of behaving characteristic of stars moving toward the finish of their divine processes. Be that as it may, authoritative indications of Polaris approaching the last period of its life cycle stay dubious. If Polaris somehow happened to go cosmic explosion, it would probably bring about a fabulous occasion in our sky, possibly eclipsing the moon and becoming one of the most splendid articles noticeable for days, weeks, or even months. The star's appearance would go through emotional changes, denoting a critical occasion in cosmic history. If Polaris somehow managed to go through a horrendous occasion, for example, a cosmic explosion blast, it could change into a splendid place of light or a transient item, maybe showing dynamic and vivid tints before continuously disappearing. Such an occasion would probably be apparent to the unaided eye for a lengthy period, conceivably overshadowing close by stars in the night sky.
The visual scene could briefly modify our view of natural divine bodies like the enormous scoop or Ursa Major, as Polaris is the ongoing North Star and a fundamental part of these heavenly developments. In any case, in spite of the sensational showcase, Earth would almost certainly stay protected from any immediate effect, given Polaris' extensive separation from our planet. Any consequences for Earth's air or ecological circumstances would likely be insignificant. While the occasion would without a doubt catch the consideration of cosmologists and observatories around the world, the particular perceivability and effect on Earth would be less critical contrasted with a closer cosmic explosion occasion. With respect to post-devastating destiny of Polaris, it's critical to take note of that Polaris predetermination will probably not include a cosmic explosion blast. While huge stars normally end their lives in a cosmic explosion, Polaris isn't gigantic enough for this situation. All things considered, when Polaris debilitates its atomic fuel, it will shed its external layers and change into a white midget, a calm finish to its heavenly excursion. A white diminutive person is a little, exceptionally thick heavenly remainder shaped from the center of a star after it has drained its atomic fuel and gone through gravitational breakdown. These leftovers are made fundamentally out of electron degenerate matter, with a mass identical to that of the sun however packed into a lot more modest volume. In spite of their high thickness, white midgets radiate next to no light and progressively cool more than billions of years, in the end becoming weak articles, known as dark diminutive people. Polaris change into a white bantam means the finish of its dynamic stage as a star. While it might never again sparkle splendidly in the night sky, its presence as a white bantam fills in as a demonstration of the tremendous and dynamic nature of the universe, where stars go through glorious changes all through their lifetimes. A white midget is the leftover of a low or medium mass star that has depleted its atomic.